What's going on everybody? Physio Trader going to do a very quick trade recap. As you can see here, one trade walked away 56.86 green, uh, just over $50 after commissions. Uh, and I'll explain the commissions in just a minute. Uh, but so essentially this, uh, so looking at here is Tesla on a one minute chart. Uh, markets closed at this point. So I just have it scrolled up to what I was looking at at the time the the, uh, the trade took place. Um, as you can see, the market closed about $10 uh, lower than where I was buying here and um so that's why the level twos are not moving so essentially tesla gapped down so i was very bearish mindset but at this point uh i mean this thing was just quite overextended to the downside and what you can't see here was on a five minute chart at this point around 590 uh we had the uh, 200 period average as a support line so i was really using that as a as an opportunity to enter and so I entered in with very small size, kind of lowering my size lately. I want to see if I can just hit some consistent singles, uh, going for around 50 to to $100 a day and see how I can do after a month and just see if that builds up as opposed to just going for a little bit bigger moves. And at this time, as you don't see here, is I'm spending a lot of time focusing on uh, options trading, uh, doing some option swing trading as well as option day trading uh, in another account, not this account. I uh, haven't decided if I want to add options to light speed. I don't know, um, but I have noticed that the level twos for what I use Schwab to be definitely slower on just the standard level twos. And so I'm actually thinking that they're also going to be slower on options. And so because of that, it's it's already making me want to switch. It's kind of hard. Once you get into light speed, you really, you know, don't care so much about losing a dollar or two dollars in commissions. Rather, I want to make sure I'm getting the best uh, the best opportunity for, for my money. And so uh, as you can see here, got in 25 shares, allowed this thing, it came down, and I'd surprise how quick I kind of was building into size. Uh, but as you can see, in a matter of one minute, I built up to 100. And then at this point, I sold at this point, which was uh, at my resistance point, and I sold for just a $50 move. This thing did, you know, trim back a little bit, which at that point, I would have been nervous just because this is so bearish. I would have saw this as just a, a cool down period and a break below that, which it never happened, or at least in the time frame. Now, had I held up to 94, it would have been, you know, a couple hundred dollar trade. So, you know, I did miss out on that. But again, this is 100% with hindsight bias. My exit point at that point, once you start building into these a little bit, my exit point was over 692. I was happy to get the 692.37. And like I said, it was just 100 shares total, nothing major, but I just didn't feel like the market went the way I wanted. I didn't want to short it. I didn't feel comfortable shorting it just in the sense. And as you can see here, you know, had I kept on going through, this thing got up to over 700. I mean, from 692.37 to 7, I mean, that's another $10 per share. That would have been, you know, a, a, you know, 10 times that price. It could have been a $500 trade right then and there, but or more than that would have been a thousand dollar trade had i held on to those you know those hundred shares for the full ten dollar move but that's absolutely silly to just kind of do that now it's tesla it can certainly make a ten dollar move in either direction but i would have been equally uh disappointed had it went ten dollars in the opposite direction i was looking at a minus one thousand uh so i'm happy with the 56 bucks for all about three minutes of my time um again that's break down that hourly math and and that's that's quite a Quite all right not to mention i am working full time so this is not like this is designed to replace my income rather i'm just trying to focus on good habits just scooting forward to show you what the rest of the day looked like here's where i was this got up to 72 and then it started to break down um, very respectively a lot of day traders probably got smoked on this uh this first move which uh, I was kind of anticipating there would be a move. Now I did not anticipate it to reclaim VWAP so easily. Had I done that, I would have, I, I, you know, in hindsight, I wish I would have held at least a little bit longer and then let this thing break over 700, and then at that point just follow it with a stop. But again, that's 100% hindsight trading. I was deathly worried about this thing, not deathly, but I was definitely worried about this thing, uh, you know, having a, a further plunge, a plummet to the bottom. So uh, that's all it's going to do there for me. Oh wait, um, so commission wise. For those of you who don't know, um, Lightspeed does charge commissions. Um, I'm sure I've talked about this before, but basically the rates uh, you can find on their website. You can go through and find out what the commissions are, but um, it's 0 .0045 um, cents per share, and but they do have a dollar minimum. So I'm actually, you know, I'm paying five dollars. So one, two, three, four, five. So I actually have a dollar minimum for every every buy or sell. So. 
uh, minimum and so uh, all of these would be under the, the threshold that would actually charge me more than a dollar so that's a five dollar commission trade for me again even though it's taken a little bit of the profit you know had I used 50 share lots or 75 share lots and, and build up a bigger size that that five dollar commission wouldn't have mattered much and again I'm I'm perfectly happy to pay commissions for years I paid commissions on on less than substandard brokers I'm, I'm more than happy to pay commissions on a on a very um, tangible, very, you know, successful and, and powerful uh, broker. So if you have any questions, reach out in the comment sections, um, you know, uh, like this video, share it with anybody who could benefit from this information. And thank you so much for watching.